this is you're entering a machine room, but it's not a machine that's pumping gasoline and it's not uh, making anything complicated except of uh, looking for water under the ground. It's called groundwater in Israel, and this is the only uh, source of water rather than a little, very, quite little rain. And so this is this, and I like the physicality of these kind of, it's in the desert, it's standing alone like a kind of gods. This form, it has some kind of uh, mythological presence. This is why I, I, I built this uh, sculpture here. When you sit on it, when you touch it, it's vibrating. So water, real water from Venice is moving inside the pumps. When uh, Sigrid Landa was discovered uh, this pavilion, uh, she investigated and discovered a new room and she break that wall and breaking the walls were part of the project to make a fluidity between every borders. That's why you have at the beginning of the pavilion a big pipes full of water that are conducting water through the wall pavilion and it creates a kind of liquidity of meaning and also of dissol dissolving the borders. The concrete things, real connections, real people like and to do things in this way and not in general slogans. I don't like slogans, I don't like uh, statements about colonialism, I don't believe this uh, general stuff. And from some certain state, uh, status, when you're a successful artist, you can use so well your freedom. So I recommend that, this is, uh, that we use our freedom in a, in a wise way and a, in a generous way. Because it, it can do good more than other people. That they have maybe power, they maybe they have money, but they don't have the creativity, the imagination to do good. <laughs> when you go inside of the pavilion, you will discover uh, two big videos and a strange object. The strange object is a fishing net that she has uh, put inside of the Dead Sea. And after five days, instead of uh, uh, catching fishes, she catches souls, she cooked soul. Uh, salt and uh, this salt means the sterility of this very uh, dramatic space uh, 400 meters below the sea uh, one of the most uh, uh, disastrous place in the world and uh, she presents this in front of uh, uh, shoes that have been also in the Dead Sea and she put on the lake frozen lake of Gdansk this Polish city which is the last place for a successful revolution in Europe and the salt and the, the ice are melting each other and that means that we can transform the, 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 the stiffness of reality with a certain will and power. In my case it, it was quite, for instance, important for me to live in my country because I can continue, I, I feel I need my materials, I know what I know, I belong, I still belong somewhere more than in other places or my fate. I live in a place that's also the border between Jaffa and Tel Aviv and I respond and maybe I contribute to the fact that I'm physically, uh, I'm not in the, I didn't, I did run away from some problems I do run away. I, I don't live in Jerusalem anymore. I was born there. I don't live on a border uh, physically. I, my, uh, the father of my child comes from a, he lived on the border and when he was a child he had bombshells falling on him. But I still live in uh, Israel and it's, uh, it's part of me and uh, who I am and uh, what I do. And I, I can't be, uh, I can't uh, feel my, my creativity in the same way, I think, in other, than in other places. In this case, I can say that um, the exhibition has political meanings, but it is not a political show, which means it is not uh, for or against something, but it tries to uh, raise some uh, issues, some existent, uh, existential issues, like as, uh, you know, the, the partition, the division of natural resources, such as water, as we show in, the, in this exhibition as a metaphor. Uh, Sigalit has an extraordinary project. She has started already to work on it and to discuss with uh, politicians and uh, cooperation between Jordania and Israel to create a bridge that links the two borders above the Dead Sea. And this bridge is very important because we have to stop being wall, building walls and we have to start building bridges. What I can do, I, I want to do a bridge until 2014. I want it to be beautiful. I want many people to see it and I want people to walk on it. That's all very modest. <laughs>